We convene this industry. We convene across 18 primary sectors. We convene across the globe. There are unique experiences in terms of being able to hear from the entrepreneurs and the leaders exactly what they're up to, how they did it, what their success is, and it really changes how we celebrate success. People are energized, there's buzz everywhere I look, people are swapping business cards, talking deals. Fundamentally, we are here to help accelerate clean tech. We're quite proud of that. We are the clean tech group. I think that we have a room full of people that are absolutely committed to this sector, that absolutely see the huge opportunities that are ahead of us in confronting the world's biggest resource challenges. This is a good business, and this is a business of good people. This is a very unique place where it brings together folks who aren't talking to each other on a weekly basis. And I think, you know, that is central to our mission as we convene the industry and connect folks. You know, I believe these things should be fun, right? We're all humans, uh, so coming to a place like this inspires people, doing fun things like it's just another way of networking, going on tours. Uh, the first day is another way of breaking the ice. We're really re-establishing what clean tech is all about. And clean tech is embedded in a broader shift towards uh, a new kind of capitalism. And the idea of really being more efficient and essentially more resource efficient and essentially being more cost efficient because that ultimately is what it's going to be all about. So we're seeing a convergence of big and little, uh, innovators and, and, and big companies. We're seeing a, a confluence of East and West, uh, Asia, Latin America and, and Europe. And then we're seeing uh, new ideas about how we can bring things to scale. I've been inspired by the keynotes, I've been inspired by the startups, and just the attendees here from, as you know, all over the world have been just, just, just bringing great positive energy to, to, to our event. So in the next few minutes and over the next two, three days as we talk about where, with whom, and how to become a global uh, clean tech leader. Well, it's the best place all year to meet people and that are important in our industry. It's uh, extremely complicated and it's global. So the only way to really have an effective network is to know a lot of people around the world. And this is the meeting place for all the movers and shakers in clean tech in the world. There's a mix of investors, entrepreneurs, and other players in the market that are important for me to see. And then, you know, you always meet new entrepreneurs, new uh, business opportunities, and that's, that's very key to us also. You know, they're all worthy of it, and they all need to get to market, and we can all do things to help. So, to me, this keeps me charged up, and what we do every day is, and knowing that we can help them makes it actually worthwhile. Oh, it went well. We were excited to share what Efficiency Exchange is doing in China, helping factories overseas reduce their energy costs. You know, we're talking to a lot of investors. People have come up and talked to us about what we're doing and wondering what kind of money we're raising and, and what kind of investors we're looking for. So yeah, we were really excited to be able to share our vision, the progress we're making, and um, be able to get lots of good feedback from investors. Asaf has become a professional hero to, to many of us as well. He's approached his professional career with the same sense of, of commitment, with the same sense of being an underdog, taking on some of the biggest challenges out there. And tonight we call him our innovation hero. Very honored and grateful for this award. Thank you much.